Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2021 Cruise in the Coast event, and I came across a very cool 1954 Chevy truck I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. David, what a cool truck, brother. Thanks. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, I bought it 13 years ago, and not being a mechanic, I thought I could take it apart, and I was gonna have somebody fix the cab corners and I was gonna put it back together, but that didn't happen. It set, took apart for eight years. Uh, it's easy to take apart, you say, getting it back together and all that kind of stuff is the toughest part. Yeah, <laughs> I thought I could do it, but I didn't, it didn't happen. So how did it end up this way? Well, my wife for my 50th birthday, she uh, said it won't worth five cent like it was. So I can't thank her cousin Trent and Herman Redman enough. We took it to their house, they kept it a year. I told them I didn't want a show truck, I wanted something I could drive every day, and this is what they gave me back. Oh, very nice, turned out really, really nice. What color is it? Uh, it's actually, uh, we took a pair of blue jeans, set them on the paint counter, and we told them we wanted denim blue, and that's the color they uh, gave us. As you know, it turned out really nice with the yellow lettering and all on it. Did they do any kind of custom touches to it, or was it more of a restoration? Well, it was a restoration. We did add brakes, because I told them I didn't want to run over any Girl Scouts in a Christmas parade right, or something. Right, right. So. And that interior isn't stock? <laughs> no, it's not stock. It uh, actually has a honeycomb pattern in the uh, interior. We're beekeepers and we sell beekeeping supplies. And so I was ecstatic to find that uh, material when I did the in interior. And then you tell me there's a certain way honeycombs run and you wanted to make sure that they got that right oh, when they Oh yeah, when, when the uh, installer uh, got did my interior, I told them to be sure the points were up and down because that's the way the honeycomb was in the, naturally in a hive. How cool is that? Is that the original engine that came in it? Original engine. That's the only thing we didn't have to do anything to. All the nuts and bolts in the whole truck's new except the engine. It had great compression, so we didn't do anything to it. So you're saying that you, that you, that you redid that whole truck and didn't touch the engine? Nope. What about the transmission? Didn't touch it either. No kidding. It still got the original type yep. transmission in it? Original transmission. Well, it'd be tough to shoot this truck and not ask. Tell me a little bit about Bailey Bee Supply. I'm a well, big fan of honey. Oh, well, I, we've got plenty. Uh, I sell beekeeping supplies. We have a store I've been open since uh, 2013. We educate beekeepers through a bee school. We start it in January, run it for about nine weeks, one night a week. Uh, we have a website, baileybeesupply.com. Uh, we have an educational page on our website and we're just we're all about educating beekeepers you ever use the truck around the farm no <laughs> <laughs> you have another one for that yeah i've got trucks that i use at work but uh, that one's just for advertisement purpose i got you well we you gave your wife a shout out how about some other people you got anybody else you want well, to shout out to like i said trent and herman redman uh, I, I couldn't thank them enough they kept it for a year and their dad helped them too his his name's herman also you said that uh, they came and picked up the truck and your credit card and you didn't see either one of them for like over a year. Well, I actually, I took it to them <laughs> and, you know, gave, they had the credit card for a year. Yeah, right. <laughs> and and were uh, you getting the invoices on that? Was oh, you taking care of it? Well, we were, my wife took care of it. Right. So yeah. you didn't even know what work was being done or anything like that? Or did you? Yeah. yeah. I, I, knew, I knew the work was being done okay. on it. So you could keep and, up with it while it was going on? Yeah. The wife yeah. is just the one that got everything started. She, 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 she approved the fixing of the truck. Let's get this thing out of the garage <laughs> and get it driving. Yeah. How long has it been done? Uh, we've had it done for five years. Oh, very nice. Is this your first year at cruising? You've been coming on. Uh, this is my second year. I'm trying to put it in words. What is cruising the coast? Oh, cruising the coast is fantastic. I meant just to the number of cars is here. We got over 9,000 people registered this year. That's just awesome. What about the locals? Uh, the locals are real nice, great people. And yeah, I recommend anybody can come down and come down for the week. Good the food? Oh, great food. What great about food. the view? Oh, the view is spectacular. Have you ever been to anything like this in your, in your life? No, never there have. There isn't anything like this. No. That's what I tell people. Well, David, I appreciate your time today. I appreciate the honey you gave me, and I appreciate this truck, man. Very cool for sure. Yep, appreciate it. Thanks. So there you go from the 2021 Cruising the Coast event. Cool little uh, 1954 Chevrolet pickup truck. Hope y'all have enjoyed it. See ya!
y'all. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.